Namaste. This video is for the advanced asana section for accessibility and challenge poses. I went with accessibility for Chandra Namaskar, the moon salutation, because I think that's an important piece for anybody to include in their practice. So in order to make it more accessible, I printed up a handout that shows all the poses in the circular sequence and I wrote down all the um, the names in Sanskrit and then also the common use names. So I'll insert that into the uh, video so that you can do a screenshot and then print that up if you want to. I also am making a one minute yoga video that just shows the flow back and forth so you can really kind of get a feel for it overall. So here's the um, printout. And we'll begin by starting on the right side of your mat. I'm going to be mirroring you. Um, the moon salutations are like the sisters of our sun salutations. They start on the right. They're better for energizing morning practice, heating things up. And our moon salutations, Surya, I'm sorry, uh, Chandra Namaskar, are better for kind of cooling things down. It's a great evening practice. And it starts with the left. But they both start in Tadasana, and we'll bring the hands to the heart center for Anjali Mudra. Take a deep breath here. Inhale and exhale, and we'll begin. Inhale the arms up, and exhale the arms to the left. Back to center. Exhale the arms to the right. Inhale back to center, and take the hands down. We're going to do a big step towards the left side, and come into goddess pose. Open up the chest, really strong and wide here. A more comfortable variation for the hands on the hips. And you can have the depth of the knees, any amount that fits your personal practice. Eventually we'll kind of all strive towards getting real deep in the pose and having the chest really wide. Our next move is five pointed star pose, extend in all directions. You're going to feel energetic going up from the head, out each hand, and feel the energy flowing down through each foot. And then we're going to pivot towards the back of the mat. Our left foot will point fully towards the back of the mat. Our right foot will be at an angle. We're going to go into triangle pose. You can take your hands to your hips if that helps keep the length in your side ribs. Or you can have your arms extended as you dip down. Triangle pose, you can have the gaze upward toward the top hand, neutral or looking down, and you can grab a block to help keep that extension and support your pose. Now we're going to Parsvottanasa. You can, you can transition by coming upright, closing the hips, having blocks in both hands and folding down, and then folding any amount that feels good. You can have your palms on the ground and you can keep your chest extended. Our next move is a low crescent lunge. You can use again your blocks for support. You're going to put your back knee down on the mat, untuck your toes and rise up. If your hips are a little tighter, these nice right angles might feel good. If you do have the extension, you might want to widen the pose and really sink down. You can keep your hands on the blocks or rise up, straight spine, or even arch back and open the chest. Breathing in deeply with each move. We're going to move on, take your blocks. We're going to pivot everything towards the long side of the mat. Tuck your back toes for a skandasana, a side lunge. Your extended leg is going to flip so that your right heel is on the ground, right toes are pointing up to the sky. And again, several variations here. If your hips are on the tighter side, you might want to be up. You can have your hands in prayer or down on blocks. If you like to go a little deeper, you can go on your toe. And again, use the blocks for support or balance here. You can also go flat onto your left heel and take your hands into prayer if you've got this balance move. 
but make sure you're not arching forward. You want to keep your chest open. Grab your blocks if you're moving. We're going to go towards the center. Pause in here or folding down or continuing right on over towards the right side of the mat. Flip that foot so that your left heel's on the ground, left toes point up high, and then find the same variation. Or if you can go a little deeper on this side, each body is different, find out what suits you. Again, I like the balance here, keep the hands in prayer, and find stillness. Now we're going to pivot towards the front of the mat. Your blocks are handy if you need them. Flip that back foot, let the knee rest down, point the toes, lift up, open the chest, breathe deep, Anjanayasana. From here, keep your hands down to the block, pluck your back toes, straighten both legs, maybe pop that back foot in a little, and fold into Parasvottanasana. You've got your blocks. You can also keep your hands on your hips here. It helps keep the spine long and straight. We're going to open up pose, readjust that back foot. Nice open chest here, open hips for triangle pose. Same variations. You can have the hand on the hip, you can have your hand on a block. These can be up or down. Our next move will be go back into Uttita Tadasana, five point star pose. Extending energetically in all directions. Sink down into goddess pose, Ukata Konasana. And, and again, you have variations here of any depth that suits you, or you can sink really deep. Take your hands together at the heart center. We're going to step strongly, left foot meets right, arms back up. First, we're going to tip to the right center, to the left, center, and back to Namaste. So then we start on the left side of the mat and go out to the right and back for our other side. Namaste. Thank you.